A big match expected to bring in big bucks. Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao are scheduled to face off in the ring on May 2nd. The fight is expected, get this, to bring in an unprecedented $250 million in pay-per-view revenue and, a, and break the record at 2.5 million pay-per-view purchases set by Mayweather's match against Oscar De La Hoya in 2007. Who will be counting the cash after the bout? And what's next for these boxing greats? Arise News sports contributor Andrew Rosario is here with the latest. Wow, why are so many people interested in seeing these two fight? Because we've been wanting to see these guys fight for more than five years. It's a little bit late, but they're still going to fight. They're the top fighters in their class, and they're at the top of their games. Mayweather is undefeated, 47-0. He's trying to break Rock Rocky Marciano's record of 50-0. and And Pacquiao has won titles on seven, eight different levels. So, again, it's about five years too late, but still, there hasn't been a fight this big in the last 15, 20 years. Boxing really needs this, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It really does. The heavyweight situation is out of control. Mm -hmm. Every other class, you really could name, you know, the top contenders. If, the, if they walked into the studio right now, you would not know who yeah, they were. Yeah, the days of Evander Holyfield, exactly. Mike Tyson. Yeah. All Lennox of these guys, th th those yeah. celebrities are just not around anymore. Exactly, and that's why this fight is so big. And the purse that they're getting, Mayweather, what, $100 million? Um, at the end of the day, with all the revenue counted, it's looking at about $400 million to be split between both these fighters. Okay. And uh, what are the odds? I mean, who's going to win this? <laughs> well, Vegas right now has uh, Mayweather as a slight edge, but that could change as it gets closer to the fight. Now, remember, in the Philippines, where the population is huge, they're going to be betting a lot of their money on Pacquiao. And so that may just um, even out the fight by the time they step into the ring. He has a, they, they both have amazing stories, don't they? They do, they do. I mean, they're aging athletes a little mm -hmm. bit, mm -hmm. uh, but they're still commanding some en enormous attention. Yeah. Pacquiao especially is really big in the Philippines. Right, he really is. I mean, he's a politician, he, he's, he's a basketball part, he player. He was in the legislature. Right, you know, he's a basketball player, he's a singer, an entertainer. Mm -hmm. Floyd has had his own problems in and out of the ring. A lot of people have been saying that he's been ducking Pacquiao for the last couple of years. There's been a lot of tension because at one point, Bob Arum, who is now promoting Pacquiao, was promoting Mayweather. They had a very bad split, and Arum has held a grudge against Mayweather since then. A lot of people are saying that's why it's taken so long for the fight to take place. A lot of people are going to watch this fight who don't normally watch boxing. Right. The question is, do those fans then stay with the sport afterwards. And we asked this question about the World Cup. Right. We always ask this question in big championship right. games. But in boxing, is the, you know, do they stick around? Or are these, they these may, events? Yeah, they may or may not, depending on the outcome of the fight. If it's one of those fights where everyone's clamoring for a rematch, <laughs> then it'll carry over. But if it's one of those fights where either of them get knocked out in the first or second or third round, then the back to square one. What kind of competition is boxing facing these days, especially when you when you have criticism of football mm -hmm. and of hockey of being too violent, and then you have perhaps the most violent sport of them all? Yeah, uh, the MMA is one of the big mixed uh, martial mixed arts. Martial arts is one of the big sports that's you know giving them the kind of competition. The backlash with that is that recently one of the big MMA fights, both fighters tested positive for steroids, not only before the fight but after the fight, and they've made some changes to make sure that doesn't happen in the future. But yeah, boxing's main competition will come from that. If if New York State ever allows right. MMA in the state, um, then I think that would elevate uh, the sport Have as the well. boxing authorities done a good job of getting control of the sport and making it more, I mean, is there a way to make this a family-friendly sport? <laughs> no, not at all. It will never be a family-friendly sport. I mean, it's a brutal sport. The, the object is but to the knock the other guy of, out. But the days of Muhammad Ali, right. of, of people who weren't just great boxers, Great athletes right. and great citizens are right. gone. It, it totally is gone. I mean, you, you mentioned Muhammad Ali is the ambassador of mm -hmm. boxing. We haven't seen someone like of, him. Of so much more, too. Right, right. We haven't seen a, a person like that in sports across yeah. the board to elevate that sport. Andrew Rosario, as always, we'll be watching this and we'll certainly yes, have you we back will. on afterwards. Tomorrow on the Rise Exchange, how big business is squeezing out entrepreneurs. Get this in the pot industry. Let's take a look. What's Again, for the market, so it was a record day on Wall Street, up 15 points and change. I'm Andrew Schmertz. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.